Hey BookTube, what's going on? <clears throat> you know, this just never gets old. Every time I open a can of beer, it's like the first time I've opened that can of beer. <laughs> it's like a rebirth. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to film some ads from this 1966 men's magazine, True. And uh, this was suggested by Ollie Bliss, Oliver. And honestly, I wish I could have just sent this magazine to Oliver and let him let him uh, have have filmed these. It would have looked turned out a lot better. Um, I did the best I could with the equipment I have. Um, I would have mailed it to Ollie, but uh, I didn't trust the postal service to get it over to the UK and get it back here in one piece and where it's you know over 50 years old. I, want to take a chance on something happening to it so uh, thank you Oliver for the suggestion and I hope uh, you get some enjoyment out of these these old ads now see it's a men's magazine so a lot of the ads are cars and liquor and I even threw in a couple of their sexist cartoons just for good measure so uh, uh, just uh, have a look, everybody. And uh, by the way, I went high tech. I used a old uh, drawer from a cabinet maker, <laughs> a local cabinet maker, and uh, a bobby pin and a push pin, and my camera, which is it's, it's got a few years on it. So uh, check it out. Okay, here is True Magazine. Let me try to zoom in. Our background is maple wood, and <clears throat> I know a guy that owns a cabinet shop, and uh, he's like, "Here, uh, they were getting ready to destroy that piece of wood, and so I took it." Yeah, there you go. What does that say? Fifty cents. But kind of shows you what's going on. Of course, that's, hang on, let's go back to the date. May 1966, so I wasn't even three then. I was two and on my way to three. So there's some of the featured stories. I crossed the person's name out that used to get the subscription. I'm sure they probably passed away a long time ago since this magazine's over 50 years old. Okay, on to the first ad. Okay, here we go. For Mother from General Electric. Sorry about the orientation. But I can only do so much with the equipment I have. Try to zoom in on that text. Uh, maybe on your screen, depending on what your resolution is, you might be able to make out that. Let me try there. Now, obviously, you can always pause this on your computer if you're interested. Okay. You know if you hear anything in the background, Fallout 4 is going on, so here we go, exposed. The naked truth about low priced watches with no jewels. Ooh. Check out that price. Fifteen ninety-five. Well, that one there is like eleven ninety-five. 
Wow. Ah, crap. Sorry, a mouse just ran by. <laughs> I was recording, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people in booktube land. Okay, on to the next. Uh, wow. <laughs> on to the next ad. Okay, the mouse has gone. That yeah, thing scared the crap out of me. Yeah, this is a storage room, but really like vermin running through here, especially when I'm trying to film. So, this is a. Suzuki commercial and you can see the guy is leaning down and dipping water out of a cool clear stream and he's on a motorcycle well they were smart enough to have him getting his water upstream otherwise the grease and oil from the chain and sprocket would probably be running into his canteen yeah I used to ride a motorcycle so surprise surprise So here's their table of contents, and here's a little ad for men who like women. Uh, holiday pipe mixture. Hang on. Apparently it's aromatic. Uh, it's made in Richmond, Virginia. Used to be a top tobacco producing state, but much like Kentucky, uh, not a lot of that goes on anymore. So our furnace is rather loud, so you'll probably hear that in the background. So this is Buick Riviera, made in the USA. 1966 Buick. Say the tuned car? Yep. So there's their advertisement. Fine looking automobile there outside the Colosseum in Rome. So here we have an ad for. Vaseline hair tonic. Now I remember when everyone greased their hair. I used to use Vitalis myself before the disco days came in and I st started with my disco hair. Kind of hard to believe now, but that slick back look, that was, that was the thing. Yeah, I'm not going to show that cartoon off to the side. That would probably be offensive nowadays. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how high-tech my setup is. Right there is a push pin, and then I have one of my wife's bobby pins holding the pages together. So, yeah. So here we have an ad. The 19... 66 Ford Falcon and we actually had one of these at one time don't know if it was a 66 but it was a Ford Falcon it's kind of a strange ad take you to the top commuters exciting news about the economy run to suburbia first place won by the shoe leather second place won by Sears And third, fourth, and fifth place won by Falcon. I don't know. That one's over my head. This technology is amazing. Fishing's here. And so is the buy of the year.
Now you get a half mile of mono free with America's monofilament line, of course, for you fishermen out there, fisherwomen. Shakespeare, fishing, golf, and archery. I gotta find a way to get that other page out of the way on the next ad. So here we go. This is a single minded whiskey, old granddad, head of the bourbon family. And for those of you that don't know it, bourbon is made here in Kentucky and any whiskey that's not made in Kentucky is not officially bourbon. There you go. Actually, right there it says. Bottled at the Forks of the Elkhorn by the Old Granddad Distillery Company, Frankfort, Kentucky. So here's the Pontiac Le Mans. There's all the anemones. Hundred and sixty five horsepower on regular gas now. That's when they had regular and high test is what they call it. Overhead cam. Or you can order a two hundred and seven horsepower sprint interpretation with special sports suspension and striping as part of the package. Or you can go up to 250 or 285 horsepower V8. Now my brother-in-law used to have a Pontiac Le Mans and that thing would, it would travel. His wasn't a 66 model, but got a bit low there. Yeah, I found something to hold the pages. I took an old sword I had laying around and leaned it up against her. Here we have the Jeep Wagoneer, four-wheel drive. You've got to drive it to believe it. See your Jeep dealer. Check the yellow pages. There's all the info. And there is my high-tech system for holding the pages open sword and a bobby pin. No, that might be a book tube first. There is Dean Martin as Matt Helm. Remember those movies? So, yeah, there are some sexist cartoons in here, as you might expect, from 1966. Here we have a Seagram's ad. 7-Up, the man's mixer. Lock down and shoot the breeze with a couple of good friends, Seven Up and Seagram Seven Crown. And yeah, I drunk that. Of course, that's a seven and seven.
you hear any squeaking, our dog's in there playing with its new toy, so. Surprise, surprise. Another car ad. Now, this ad is for a Chevrolet Malibu wagon, I think. And here are the reasons listed by the husband and the wife. Why did you buy a Chevelle Malibu wagon for? There you go. Side by side comparison, the husband and the wife. Versatility. Come on strong with Botany 500. And there's a joke over here about a doctor um, curing this guy's wife's laryngitis and he's angry about it. <clears throat> Can't see it for the samurai sword. So. Here we go. If you're into car ads, you're in the right place. The only four-wheel drive in its class with V8 power. Ford Bronco. Said, sorry about the orientation, but hey. Wow, it has a 34 foot turning sickle, smallest of any four wheeler. Here's another bourbon ad. 19th century seat, 19th century secret. Enjoy the secret with us. Yeah, some people enjoy the secret too much. The old Taylor Distillery, Frankfurt, Kentucky, built in 1887. Here's this castle built of native Kentucky limestone. Hmm. The people back in 66 weren't much different from the way they are now. So I'm not sure how long permanent press clothing had been out, but apparently this is an ad for ever-pressed slacks. Don't wrinkle, that is. Hound dogs do. Stain repeller. <laughs> 6 dollars Wow. Hard to touch that now. You have to look for the <laughs> the W because it's silent. Wrangler the real no iron jeans. It's right here. I personally am not a Wrangler man. I have always wore Levi's. To each his own. Six bucks. Authentic round leg about five bucks. Cutoffs about four dollars. Wrangler jeans.
Here we go, another whiskey ad. Bourbon, in fact. If you can find a better bourbon, buy it. Ancient age. Yes, I have tried that. Straight Kentucky bourbon. Four fifths of a quart. It's all milliliters nowadays. Hunt from Kenya to the Khyber Pass. You'll never find a better bourbon. Our largest selling six year old Kentucky bourbon. Hmm. Or if that statistic is still relevant. Now here's. <laughs> oh boy. Bird, a bee, a doctor, a pregnant lady, and the caption. Now pay attention, Miss Schneider, and I'll try to explain what happened. Yep, nothing wrong with that cartoon. Eh, <laughs> yeah, we've come a long way, I guess. I remember this commercial. And I remember these ads. Winston tastes good used to be like a cigarette should and got a little more personal here and let me see no surgeon general warnings apparently at this time unless your cigarette is a Winston you're missing out on the best taste in filter cigarettes Mm hmm. Well, I never smoked, but a whole lot of people I know did. All right, that's probably it for this high tech uh, viewing of ads from nineteen sixty six. And we finish up with Hiram Walker's Tin High. Sip it slow and easy. Enjoy true bourbon. If you drink whiskey or liquor, you better be slipping it so and e if slow and easy. Or so and easy, what depending on how much you've had. 86 proof. Actually don't know if that still exists. I've I've never drank that particular type. Hiram Walker and Sons, Incorporated, Peoria, Illinois. Straight bourbon whiskey. Ah, hmm. It's not bourbon if it's made there. Booyah. So, there was a long line of ads. And uh, actually, when I was looking at them, even when I was filming them, I was like, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I forgot to mention the the samurai sword I used to prop the pages open. But uh, cheers, everyone! Again, Oliver, thank you for the suggestion. And uh, if your other booktubers aren't familiar with Oliver Rodali Bliss, that's his channel name. Go check him out. And everyone, you know, I will see you later. Bye.